Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of decision trees. Not just how they work, but how to actually understand what's going on inside those branches and leaves. Because building a predictive model is cool, but knowing how it makes certain predictions, that's next level. We're talking interpretability techniques, the tools to unlock those black box models and build some trust in what they're telling us. So if you're ready to go from decision tree novice to model whisperer, buckle up. Let's get started. First up, we gotta talk about feature importance. Think of it like figuring out the MVPs in your decision-making process. Just like in a basketball team, not all features are created equal. Some have a bigger impact on the final outcome and that's what we want to uncover. Now there are a bunch of ways to calculate feature importance scores. We got permutation importance, SHAP values, LIME, each with its own strengths. Permutation importance, for example, it's like benching a player for a game and seeing how the team performs. If the performance drops significantly, you know that player was crucial. Understanding which features carry the most weight, that's key to understanding the machine learning model's decision-making process as a whole. It's like having the cheat codes to unlock the game. All right, we've identified our MVP features, but how about we actually see how the model connects the dots? That's where tree visualization comes in. It's like taking a scenic route through the decision-making process, seeing all the forks in the road and where each path leads. Libraries like Matplotlib, Plotly, or even Scikit-Learn's built-in tools can help us create some seriously insightful visuals. We're talking about seeing exactly how the model splits the data at each node, what questions it's asking and how those answers lead to the final prediction. It's like having a roadmap instead of just blindly following directions. Trust me, being able to visualize the decision tree, it's a game changer for understanding the model's logic, especially with complex data sets. How does changing one specific feature affect the final outcome? That's where partial dependence plots come in. They isolate the relationship between a feature and the predicted output. Super helpful for understanding model sensitivity to a feature. Now let's talk about SHAP values. Remember those feature importance scores we discussed earlier? SHAP values take it a step further. They break down the individual contribution of each feature for a specific prediction. Think of it like this. You've got a team win, but now you want to know how many points each player contributed, right? SHAP values tell you exactly that, but for your model's predictions. Using libraries like SHAP or even Scikit-Learn, we can generate these values and visualize them in some really intuitive ways. This helps us understand why a particular prediction was made, attributing credit to each feature involved. It's like having a detailed post-game analysis for every single prediction your model makes. Sometimes we need to go beyond the global picture and understand how the model behaves in a specific neighborhood. That's where Lime comes in, local interpretable model agnostic explanations. It's like using a magnifying glass to zoom in on a particular prediction. Lime creates a simplified, interpretable model locally around the instance. This local model mimics the behavior of the original complex model. It's like having a local guide who knows the ins and outs of a specific area. Now, here's the thing about interpretability. We don't want to be limited to just decision trees, right? What if we're working with random forests, support vector machines, or even deep neural networks? That's where model agnostic methods come in, the universal translators of the interpretability world. Tools like Tree Explainer, Anchors, or Alibi don't care what's under the hood. They can provide feature importance, partial dependence plots, SHAP values, all the good stuff, regardless of the underlying model. This means we can apply the same interpretability techniques across different models, making comparisons and drawing insights much more effectively. It's like having a single key that can unlock any door, regardless of the lock mechanism. So, we've covered a lot of ground, but remember this is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of model interpretability is vast and constantly evolving. Think of it like a Swiss Army knife. You've got a tool for every situation. Feature permutation helps you understand how sensitive the model is to changes in the data. Feature importance tells you which features are the heavy hitters. Partial dependence plots visualize the relationship between features and predictions. The key is to choose the right tool for the job, depending on your specific needs and the complexity of your model. 
Now all of this boils down to one crucial aspect, trust. We can build the most accurate models in the world, but if we can't explain they work, they're not going to be very useful, right? That's where explainable AI or XAI comes in. It's about building models that are not only accurate but also transparent and understandable. By using techniques like model interpretability, feature importance, and SHAP values, we can shed light on the decision-making process and build trust with stakeholders. Remember, a model that can be explained is a model that can be trusted. Sometimes we get so caught up in building complex models that we forget about simplicity. But here's the thing, a simpler model is often easier to understand and interpret. Techniques like feature selection and model pruning can help us trim the fat and focus on the essential elements. Feature selection is like choosing the right ingredients for a recipe, while model pruning is like removing unnecessary branches from a tree. The goal is to create a model that's both accurate and interpretable, striking a balance between complexity and clarity. Finally, let's talk about model ensembling. Just like in the real world, sometimes teamwork makes the dream work, even in machine learning. By combining multiple decision tree models using techniques like bagging or boosting, we can create a more robust and accurate prediction system. It's like having a team of experts with diverse perspectives coming together to make a decision. Model ensembling not only improves accuracy, but can also enhance interpretability by providing a more comprehensive view of the data. And that's a wrap. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of decision tree interpretability, equipping you with the tools and techniques to unlock those black boxes and understand the behind the predictions. Remember, interpretability isn't just about trust, it's about gaining deeper insights into your data and building more effective models. So go forth, experiment with these techniques and unlock the true potential of your decision tree models. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of data science and machine learning.